During a typical day, we breathe about 25,000 times. But what if you had to struggle each time you took a breath? Unfortunately, that's the reality for up to 132,000 Americans who have IPF. My name is George, and I'm 79 years old. I've been in great health for most of my life. In 2009, I came down with what seemed like a perpetual cold. I went to the doctor and was misdiagnosed with bronchitis. And I noticed as time progressed that I was having more and more difficulty breathing, doing things that I normally would do, like going upstairs. After nearly a year of unresolved symptoms, a pulmonologist was able to accurately diagnose me with idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis. Well, my wife and I were concerned and saddened to know that the typical life expectancy after diagnosis is three to five years. It's been over five years since diagnosis, and here I am just cherishing every breath that I take. Joining us now to talk more about this rare fatal lung disease is Dr. Marilyn Glassberg. George is also here. And George, how are you doing? Despite my IPF, my wife and I continue to stay positive. I consider myself a pretty happy camper doing the things that I love to do, like spending time with my wife and my family, working in our gardens, and traveling. Good for you. I love your perspective. And Dr. Glassberg is an IPF medical expert. Tell us a little bit about the disease. It's not something that is often discussed. Exactly. This is a disease that involves the lungs and can really affect any adult, but typically affects men like you over the age of 65. And when that happens, the lung tissue deep in the bases becomes permanently scarred. As the lung tissue thickens, then delivery of oxygen can't be done by the lungs into the bloodstream. And that means that important organs like the brain cannot get the oxygen that they need to function. What this ends up doing is giving you symptoms of shortness of breath and a dry, persistent cough. And these can be nondescript symptoms, and those are common ones, though. They can also be easily confused, as you may suspect, with other respiratory diseases like COPD, asthma, even congestive heart failure. It's certainly understandable why diagnosing this condition can be very difficult for medical providers. Exactly, and it's so important, then, to see your doctor, to see a lung specialist, a pulmonologist, who can effectively do the appropriate screening tests and studies to accurately diagnose this disease. George, you were able to ultimately get an accurate diagnosis. Since that diagnosis, I can tell you're doing the best you can, but what has life been like? I think it's helpful that I'm active and being treated. I believe that early diagnosis and proper care are critical to helping treat this condition. And what is, in general, for someone diagnosed, the recommended course of treatment? One is supplementary oxygen. The next one is cough management. We've spoken about cough today. And pulmonary rehabilitation. Pulmonary rehabilitation is very important. Uh, patients are given breathing strategies and exercises that can really help them with the shortness of breath. The FDA has also approved drugs specifically indicated for the treatment of patients with IPF. Like George said, personally, it's important to stay active with moderate exercise if you're able. Other tips, don't smoke. Stay away from secondhand smoke. Follow a healthy diet. You can also eat smaller nutritious meals because those smaller meals prevent stomach fullness, which can make it harder to breathe. Also, make sure to get plenty of rest. And George, what would you say to those who are suffering from this condition, maybe newly diagnosed? Seek help. The support of my family and my physician have been invaluable. I couldn't do it without them. George, it's so important what you're saying about seeking help and having support. There is a website, breathlessipf.com, which is available, which can provide some supplementary information as well. Well, Dr. Glassberg, George, thank you for joining us. George, best of luck to you in the future.